Hello and welcome Leo. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, you're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here, Leo, we will divide the reading into three sections, so it's a bit easier to understand and also a bit easier to actually give the messages. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023, before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's pain that needs to leave or healing to happen, if that makes sense, or whether or not there's love coming in, that sort of stuff, before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023. With no further ado, I'm just asking the guides to give me what I need to give you in the sections or areas that I just mentioned. And this is quite interesting. <clears throat> you ready, Leos? So, we're looking at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for your sign first. Now, it's quite interesting because the energy for June for the sign of Leo is not super easy because you have this comfort and review. <laughs> so what the guides are saying is in the month of June for the sign of Leo, what you're being confronted with is the option to stop. You're going into the month of July after this one and July is your month if that makes sense so this is where you will be in your strength because you will be in your sign what the guides are saying to you is treat it like the end of year review <laughs> that a lot of people don't even do the point the guides are making is don't just continue knowing when things are off or need to come to an end you are being asked to understand if you're not super happy if you're not one of those yay my life is awesome guys it's time to reflect on it now you will hear me wrong i'm watching a lot of other people's readings if that makes sense right because it's always good to, to, to get some advice ultimately if you were all super happy what's the point looking at guidance if that makes sense even though it's always good even when you're super happy to look for guidance the point the guides are making is um, there's no coincidence. So the people that need to see that video, see the video, find the video. So now you here you are, Leo. The point the guides are making is treat the month of June like a much needed break, but not in I'm doing nothing kind of break or I'm going away kind of break. But let's let's just let's just stop the press here for a moment and then reflect on where am I in the scheme of things and where am I specifically when it comes to how I'm feeling. <clears throat> so we're going into the area of, of your emotions in a minute, but the overall energy for Leo in 2023 is to not continue as though nothing is off or wrong, because when you really reflect, you will likely find something that could do with a little bit of tweaking. So it's about being honest about what you find and allow yourself to look at it and then make changes for it to be better if that makes sense for the future to be better that was your overall energy <laughs> and when it comes to your emotional core it's the same thing we have change and immerse so what the guides are saying is changes are coming this is the time for you to confront what isn't working look at it so i'm not seeing the need for mm, for breaking away to find the space just yet <clears throat> where you immerse yourself in healing energy you know retreats that kind of stuff they might come if that makes sense but the point here is don't wait until there's anything opening for you uh, that you can go and do if that makes sense because you already have the the highest number of protection and healing here the number that we're having here is seven seven is the highest number of protection and healing the point they're making is um <clears throat> Since Leo is the fifth sign, you are in you are the sign of change, and change is right here when it comes to you attracting new things, looking at your love life, because that's what I'm ultimately getting. Ultimately, what the guides are saying is 
At this point in time, in June 2023, for Leo, it's important to be a little bit selfish, if that makes sense, but not in a bad way. Just saying is, how come I'm, I'm, I'm giving all these things without being not rewarded, but um, without there being an exchange of thoughts, right? So when it comes to your emotional core, <laughs> Reflect on how much are you giving the relationship and are you getting enough back or is this more, more a one-sided thing which it really shouldn't be. <clears throat> so, interestingly enough, for the energy that I'm getting for, uh, for you Leos, it's about not pretending that things are great when you find that they actually really aren't. Right. So there's about, um, it's about honesty as well and understanding you know this is what it is and this is what it is and how do I progress from here rather than pretending everything is going to be great um, if that makes sense right so let's have a look at um, at opportunities interesting because when we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June you will find the more you look at what isn't working in your life learn to make changes to let that go confront yourself with the things that are a bit stagnant that's when new opportunities literally can come your way because what the guides are saying to you is opportunities really will only come to you when you are when you found a bit of an equilibrium with yourself when you are a bit more in balance overall and then you have an open an open invitation but the open invitation for opportunities to find you to do something entirely new which is exactly where we're heading here is for you to understand that the okay let's look at astrology here you have you have a, a best buddy known as the ascendant and the ascendant is always there um, trying to guide you trying to show you what to look at that kind of stuff but because the ascendant is quite busy he himself has a little helper called the descendant and the descendant always sits in Libra which is the sign of balance and <clears throat> the entire energy here for your opportunities is to reflect on am I in balance with myself how is my life really working if that makes sense and only when you find that you are in balance with what you want to do um, will new opportunities find you so the point here is don't go for the stuff that you do well just because it's convenient okay leos that's all i got that was your june 2023 general reading um if you like subscribe and share you will also find a full moon reading for the months of um of june and you will find um readings for each and every other sign that there is if that makes sense so please spread the word hey susan all right so that's all i got for you i see you all next month bye bye